There you are, wondering what's going on, eh? Hello, everyone. Today we are playing the Outer Worlds. Kinda. We're ranking all tier one perks. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Timestamps to the relevant parts can be found in the description. The grease monkey Argo. Now, all perks are useful in their own way and can vary in that usefulness based on individual playstyle. Never let it be said, however, that some are more equal than others. I've put together this handy dandy ranking to finally provide the only right answer. Is something wrong? Number one, Resilient. This perk buffs your armor, allowing you to wear light or medium armor with better skill boosts while still having the protection of heavy. The reason this guy is number one is because it's very useful regardless of playstyle. You can always benefit from Resilient. Try to stay alive this time. Number two, either Lone Wolf or Deadly Demonstration. Now, this is a bit of a twofer, depending on your playstyle. If you like companions, Deadly Demonstrations buffs the amount of XP you get when one of them kills, allowing you to level up and get to more perks more quickly. I could come in useful. If you like to go it alone, Lone Wolf is pretty much the most important perk you can get in any tier. It's a 25% flat damage bonus, very useful. Number 3, Toughness. This perk adds 50% to your base health. It's another one of those ones that made it so high on the list because it's very useful regardless of build. That said, it's of course much less important to gun users than melee. Number 4, Slow the World. This one buffs your tactical time dilation meter so you can stay in not that longer. If you like guns, you can probably switch toughness in this one around in order of priority. Number 5. Quick in the Dead, Cheetah, or Precision. Again, this one really depends on the build and playstyle you're going for. A bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. If you're melee, Cheetah, an increase in sprint speed, really helps to close the distance. It's a convenient perk for getting around on non-melee characters, but not nearly as important. Precision, an additional 15% companion crit chance, is great if you use companions a lot. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holton, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. Have high leadership skills or rely on them to do most of the combat. Great! I got my wrenches, and diagnosticators, and hairpins, and engine tape, so I'm all set! Quick in the Dead increases the rate at which your tactical time dilation recharges, again, letting you spend more time and not fast. This is great for gun users, and summer drives as well, but not only slow the world, but with upcoming perks in the tier 2 and 3 range that take advantage of not fast. Number 6, High Maintenance. High Maintenance slows the rate of durability loss on your weapons and armor. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. As condition actually affects stats, this is a decent perk to have. Big guns tend to burn through their durability faster, so if you're an aficionado, this can help out. Number seven, Hackney. This ups your carrying capacity. Again, one of those perks that are great for convenience, but don't affect combat or are something you can live without. If we don't ramp up productivity, the company might cut us loose. Number eight, a negotiator. The negotiator slashes vendor prices by 20%. Vendors already give a discount based on your highest dialogue skill. But if you're a little lacking in that area, or if you really want to buy some of the fun toys available from vendors for very cheap, 
this is the perk for you. Generally though, money is easy to come by in the outer worlds, which is why this perk is so low on the list. Number 9, Traveler. This unlocks the ability to fast travel when encumbered. Useful for those of us who are pack rats. Gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics with guns. Number 10, a few bits more. This makes vendors stock additional ammo and consumables. Again, both of these are plentiful just from regular looting, so it's not that big of a deal. However, if you're playing on Supernova, where consumables are more important, this might be worth looking into. Number 11, Strider. The worst perk, in my opinion, of tier 1 is Strider, which buffs your walk speed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. The issue is that the Outer Worlds doesn't have stamina, so there's no reason not to sprint everywhere forever. You pulling my limb? Which will always be faster than walking. Now, this perk might be useful if you're into role playing and like to walk around towns, but other than that, it's pretty terrible. If you know something about Strider I don't, feel free to leave a comment. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm willing to be corrected on that front. Because the best perks can vary so much depending on build or playstyle, I've put together some top 5 lists for slightly more specific builds. Melee. Nasty way to go. Number 1 is toughness. Number 2 is resilient. Number 3 is cheetah. Number 4 Either Lone Wolf or Deadly Demonstrations, depending on whether or not you have companions. And number five, your choice. For a gun user. Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Number one is Resilient. Number two is Slow the World. Number three, Quick and the Dead. Number four, either Lone Wolf or Deadly Demonstrations, again, depending on if you have companions with you. And number five is either Toughness or your choice. And for a companion user, number one is Deadly Demonstrations, number two is Precision, number three is Resilient, number four is either Cheetah or Slow the World depending on if you're a melee or a gun user. And number five is toughness, your choice. Oh, we're all Again, part of this, this ranking is based on my personal experience. It might be different from your own, but this does give a good general guide on which tier one perks are the most useful. Remember to like if you liked. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. And subscribe if you want to see more of the Outer Worlds. Thanks for watching, and goodbye. Good luck! You've tried the best now. Now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Ah, you've landed good! Oh, what just happened? The 